New at 6, Airbus is out with fresh animation of what its flying car may eventually look like. An office in San Jose is working on it, competing with some other big players in Silicon Valley. KPX 5's Kit Doe is in San Jose with a look at how close developers are getting now to making an airborne car. Kit? Yeah, we're live here outside of their satellite offices right on Santa Clara Street in downtown San Jose. They are the latest company to come out of the woodwork with their own flying car, personal aircraft type of vehicle. They are differentiating themselves from the pack by actually putting a dollar figure on how much it would cost to fly in their self-flying taxi. They're saying somewhere in the neighborhood of $2 a mile. Yet another video of a flying car is out, and rather than keeping it super secret, Airbus is laying it all out there in plain sight. This is Vahana, an all-electric, eight-motor, single-seat, vertical takeoff aircraft with pivoting rotors designed to be used as an automated flying taxi. Yes, a flying taxi that you would summon to a predetermined landing spot with your phone. Designers envision sensors all around the plane to help avoid in-air obstacles. And yes, it has a parachute. Vahana was dreamed up here at Airbus's Bay Area think tank, dubbed A-Cubed, which has embraced Silicon Valley's put-it-all-out-there mentality. Well, the first gut reaction when I think about flying cars is I want one. Tech analyst Tim Beharin has been keeping an eye on personal flying vehicles for years. But he says a self-flying passenger plane would be a tough sell to the FAA. You just can't just take a brand new car, give it wings, and then give a guy uh, the keys and say, go fly off. But that has not deterred the valley. Earlier this year, Uber announced plans to begin testing of its autonomous flying taxi as early as the end of the year. And last fall, we learned Z Aero, a subsidiary of Google's parent company, Alphabet, have plans for a large R&D facility in Hollister. Oh, and don't forget, Kitty Hawk, a startup funded with $100 million from Google co-founder Larry Page, is actually taking deposits on this personal flying vehicle. However, getting these vehicles past all that bureaucratic FAA red tape is going to be tough. Do you think pressure from Silicon Valley can force that kind of change quickly? Not really. But Heron thinks a fleet of personal flying taxis with a human pilot is possible within five to seven years. But a self-flying taxi? Keep dreaming. Yeah, I probably am a party pooper in the sense of I'd like to have it. It'd be great to have one of these type of vehicles and get me out of today's traffic. But I'm also a realist. And so the other key is that they have to drop the cost of these uh, personal aircraft. Right now, they cost somewhere in the neighborhood of $150,000 to $200,000. But to really make this work so they can scale up, they probably have to make these aircraft a lot cheaper. And we're live in downtown San Jose, Kitdale, KPIX 5.